took advantage of an early start this morning, but boy is it cold. Went down to just about 4 degrees in the greenhouse last night, so I'm still getting real cold temperatures. Anyway, I have managed to get the last potato bed covered up with manure and straw. As you can see, as the bed progresses, there's less and less straw in it, because the manure pile is almost emptied now, but that'll still do the trick for me. I've finished the beds off with the name tags, and also along the edges, I've used the yellow tape as markers for the rows. All I did is a bit of tape and I've stapled it into the boards to mark the edges. Spotted on there a couple of three gutters. I've decided I'm going to do another sowing of peas, considering the what happened to the last lot. I think it was pigeons, actually, pigeons and sparrows, mainly pigeons, because we do seem to have a, an apprentice school here for Trafalgar Square with the pigeons around, it's unbelievable. Now I'm about to sow another three gutters of peas. Now I know you've seen them all before, but doing something slightly different this time. First of all, most of you know, I always have dry nails in my gutters, and I never have problems getting the peas out, but just thought that maybe the peas could have dried out in the greenhouse, because I had poor germination on the one trace. So what I've done, I've put uh, a strip of here of kitchen rolling, where once that gets wet, Within a few days, maybe a week, that will probably rotted out, but at least the peas should have kicked off by then. And I'm just using normal multi purpose cl clover compost in here. So I'll just fill the up first. This variety of peas is called Hearst Green Chef. Ground Now that they're watered in, what I'm going to do now, instead of putting them in the greenhouse, I'm going to leave them outside and cover the whole lot with a sheet of fleece and just leave them and see how they get on. That's it, all tucked up. So we'll just sit back and wait and see what happens. Well, I've managed to get back onto the onion bed now. This is uh, bed 3C on the plan. And what I've done, I'll dig trench out and put the rotted horse manure in and just do it like a lasagna, really. Poured a bit of soil back on the top. Then I'll just lightly fluff the two together, just like this. And then I'll pull the soil back. I've got this side just to do down here and then hopefully I should be able to get this bed complete today. It's amazing how much just doing this it raises the level of the soil up. What I'll probably do when this is completed this bed because I won't be planted out for about another three or four weeks at least. Once I've leveled it off I think I'll give it a light covering with rock dust and then I'll put the black cover over and just let the worms get to work a bit until I'm ready to start planting. I've given that a little light levelling and then after tamping it down I've put a dressing of uh, rock dust on the top and I'm just giving it the lightest of tittles with the rake just to settle it in and then it'll be on with the covers. Just having a look around the local discount store I've come across these sets of bulbs and that. There's that one there, 20 freesias. Another one there. 35 Tritalia, never heard of those. And then we've got a 35 Allium called Molly. I've got a couple of these nice black pots that I'm going to be planting them in. And also I've had a bit of blood fish and bone as well for the mix. So 
normal standard compost, mix the whole lot and away we go. So that's all those in now and uh, the soil I'm just going to top it up. I've done all that because they all need to be planted around the same depth, around about three inches. So I've popped this in, this has got a bit of wood fish and bone added. And uh, level it off. Get a little water in, jobs are good in. Just having a look at the potatoes here, the fowl is just starting to wilt a little bit and checking the soil's quite dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them the first liquid feed and it's out the comfrey barrel. This is my barrel here, the comfrey's been in here, ooh, it's about nine months now, so it's a good job we've not got smelly vision because <laughs> it does stink a bit, but I actually quite like it. <laughs> See there, it's got a good skin on. I'm just going to pop them back. Me watering can. Give them some food. It looks like we have a promising day in front of us weather-wise. Um, before I move out onto the plot, I'll be planning on sowing me beans today, both the broad beans and the French climbing beans. And those that watch the channel regularly will know that I use the trusty root trainers. But I've just seen a video of Teddy King's. If you haven't seen Teddy's channel, pop over there and have a look. And he's just had some fantastic germination on the beans. And they've germinated in three days. And that's using the kitchen towel damp method. So that's the method I'll be using. Then once they have germinated, hopefully, I'll be putting them then into the root trainers. A quick look at what I'll be sowing. For the runner beans will be the Benchmaster. It's a, a really nice bean they have. I've grown them before a few years ago. And moving across there, we've got the uh, climbing beans. These are the Cobra. And uh, I've got a few more there. Them there are the Blue Lake. And right on the end is a dwarf French bean. Just let these do their own thing. And that's one called Opera. That's uh, quite a good one as well. I find it strange on there, the... Uh, the two French climbing beans, the, the blue lake, the seeds white, and for the carp, the seeds bluey. <laughs> That's some more sowed. I decided with the opera, the dwarf beans, I'm going to sow those direct into the beds when the soil's warmed up a bit and I've prepared the bed. So I'll just cover these up now and hopefully I'll get the germination like Terry did. I think he'd struck within about three days, which is absolutely fantastic. It looks as though we're in for a lovely day on the plot. It's uh, sun's up, but it's still a bit cool in the shade. Plan for this morning is to finish the couple of beds on there. I might tittle it over with the rotavator. That's the onion bed. Then a bit later this afternoon, when I've got the sun on the garden, I've got quite a lot of potting on to do. These are the two beds in question, and say. So, uh, they just need turning over, they're, they're quite well uh, fertilised anyway. So once I've done that, hopefully I'll get the black covers on, just like that one up there, and so then we can move into the garden. Bath beds are done now. What I did, I'll give them a top dressing with uh, rock dust and also cal calcified seaweed. And uh, I've just tittled the top with it in there. I haven't done this one yet, you can see the difference. So uh, I've done that. Um, I'm going to cover them with black plastic, but I'm not sure whether to water them in. Uh, looking at the sky, I think we might have a drop of rain tonight, which would be better. So I think what I'll do, I'll leave them as is. Hopefully we'll have a bit of rain tonight. If not, tomorrow I'll give them a light damping down, and then I'll put the covers on. 
Well, I was in the wading mood. I carried on with these beds, which are now going to be the salad. These are the ones which grew the crimson clust last the year, and uh, I've already done one. It's come out quite nice. Again, that's been top dressed with uh, calcified seaweed and uh, rock dust as well. So um, I'll just carry on wading with this, run the rotivator over, then that's another two out of the way. In the end, I decided to get the housepipe out, water them in, and put the covers on. Hopefully, these will only be like this for two to three weeks maximum, and then we'll be out planting. I did crack on and finish both these beds though, so this is destined for salad crops. I've got some spring onions and lettuce all ready to go out, so they'll be in there. And I'm not sure, I might put some onion sets in as well, we'll see. Well, it looks as though it's arrived at last. I think the country's got wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for a few days, so I think we'll be starting planting out today. the first of the structures going up. I've just done the other one on the other side of the bed. And now I'm going to start planting out the sweet peas. tray of Daltardi beetroot that should have gone out a good while ago as you can see because uh, this will be in the beds quite a while what I'm going to do I'm going to plant it each end of the bed and let it just stay there because there'll be crops going in and out of this salad bed That's the beetroot planted out. There's a couple of them started wilting because it, it is quite warm, but I've managed to put a rail right along the back as well. And uh, so these will be in a good while. I think there's about 24 altogether, all told. <laughs> 